loaded and ready to go. There's a thousand more pounds loaded on that car. Let's get behind it. Hey, this is Jim McDonald. This is uh, a very special episode of Flashback Friday. We're starting to pull from my old videos back in the day of uh, the original Super Training videos that back in the day when I shot everything. Uh, this is Mark's thousand pound squat, his first thousand three squat, first time that he broke the thousand pound barrier. Uh, we were at Diablo Barbell in uh, Concord, California, and it was. December 1st, 2007, a long time ago. Uh, 1003 had been a big deal within the team for a long time, since the beginning, since to, since late 2005. It was actually a phrase that people said to each other, 1003, 1003, knowing that like when we reached the point that someone in the gym had squatted 1003, whether it was a single-ply squat or a, or a multi-ply squat, that the gym would like have additional credibility. It was kind of a liftocracy, if you will. Um, Mark had been trying to get a 2,500 pound total, and this 1,000 pound squat was a critical part of that. Uh, a story that Mark tells occasionally that you guys may not have heard was that when he was training for this meet in this training cycle, he would write 2,500 on the uh, clouded up mirror every morning after he took a shower to remind himself what his goal was. And obviously, he hit that goal uh, first time through. Another thing about this uh, particular meet is that there were three 1,000-pound squats in a row. Uh, this was uh, uh, Mark and then A.J. Roberts and uh, Andy Zavala, who was a member of uh, Diablo Barbell at the time. Uh, I don't know that I've ever seen a meet since then, honestly, even at the, at the national level back when Multiply was a big deal. Uh, that included that many thousand pound plus squats in a row, especially first thousand pound squats. Um, I never thought that we would reach the point that people would be squatting a thousand pounds raw either. That's that's something that uh, is actually a huge surprise to me. Um, just in the in the multiply era, the thousand pound squat was originally kind of a kind of a. a big deal relative to individual lifters as, as well because it was a it was a road to those higher totals um mark knew that he was approaching a you know 800 pound bench and he actually benched 793 in this meet uh he knew that he was probably good for about a 700 pound or 705 deadlift which is what he pulled in this meet to get to 2500 but that thousand pound squat was the uh was it it was a big deal. It was very important to him personally as well. An another thing that I'd like to point out in this video, the back spotter uh, for this part of this flight f was uh, Jesse Burdick. And Jesse was actually competing in this meet and had four or five lifters before that uh, completed his squat, ran to the back, got out of his um, his multiply gear, which is not a small task. That's a that's a big deal to get out of your gear so that he could be out there to coach uh, those three lifters through that thousand pound squat. It was a it was a big deal for everybody. Uh, you can tell actually if you listen to the crowd, you can tell that uh, everyone was just hyped for uh, to see a thousand pound squat. That's it for this Flashback Friday. You can find all these original videos on my channel, which is uh, youtube.com slash jimmcd1234, and you can catch me every week on Mark Bell's Powercast.